ישמחו השמיים, ישמחו השמיים, ותגל הארץ. Uh, you know, there's a concept uh, in the American Constitution uh, about building a more perfect union. What it suggests is that we uh, have to constantly strive to improve, of course, ourselves, but our society and make it uh, better, make it more inclusive, make it, uh, uh, the, its benefits uh, apply and the rights that uh, it offers and the opportunities it affords uh, reach all citizens. Uh, and that's a constant process. And I think in the in the arc of the history of the United States, I think we have made tremendous progress, although there's always much more progress to, to go. So today we're uh, fortunate to host our distinguished American speaker, uh, Meg Zucker. At 23 years of age, I had already endured a lot in life. I was the first of my family born with one finger on each hand, shortened forearms, and one toe on each foot, which shocked my parents in the delivery room. It turned out what I had, I had was a genetic condition that was so rare, the doctors that delivered me didn't even know what it was called. Years later, I learned it had a name, ectrodactyly. Although to this day, to me, it sounds more like a type of dinosaur <laughs> than anything else. It is simply a Greek term for missing digits. The next challenge, however, came from outside my family. It was the reactions from strangers to the sight of me that signaled the problems I would face throughout my life. Yet as hard as I might try to fit in and prove myself, I never really could control the reactions of others to me. Each of us develops our own coping mechanisms for managing relationships with strangers. As I grew up and realized the need to deal with the constant questions and fears about my appearance, I opted for the mechanism that came totally, that came most naturally, talking, <laughs> embracing, and engaging. I explained to Ethan that happy kids are never mean to others. So if another children does something that makes you feel badly inside, that is because there's something about that kid he or she doesn't feel good about. Bullies need to make other kids feel badly so they can try to feel better about themselves. In 2011, I started a blog called Don't Hide It, Flaunt It. Over time, it has become much more than a place where I reflect on my own stories and is now my campaign to help educators, parents, teens, and children learn to accept and embrace all that makes them unique, even if those differences are not seen positively by the outside world. At the site, I feature essays from people of all ages who share stories from their lives inspired by the theme, the things that make me different make me me. By having students discover and express what makes them unique, they learn to connect by empathy rather than disconnect because of fear and misunderstanding. A friend once shared with me, they believe that the opposite of love is not hate, but fear. I'm convinced the only barrier between us all is actually fear, and the only real remedy is love, beginning with self-love. Our differences can be visible, like those of mine and my children's, or invisible, like countless others. But they are actually common to all. They are something to be embraced and celebrated.